A long stretch ahead too because September finished stormy. October projections are for conditions to be colder and stormier than normal. Kind of a starting a little bit early, I guess, as we typically get to November weather moving in at this time of year. Here we go with some wet weather already sweeping in from the southwest. So lots of showers on the radar so far. You might have remembered uh, the severe weather yesterday that actually triggered an F1 tornado in northwest Washington. First sighting of a tornado in several years in Washington, and it was due to those intense uh, uh, thunderstorms that tracked on through Puget Sound yesterday. Here we go on the west coast of the island. Rain showers in 10 for Tofino right now, 8 in Victoria, your high 14 degrees. Still a risk of a thunderstorm over southern sections of the island for this afternoon. Along the Sunshine Coast, mostly cloudy, mostly wet right now. It was a cold day in Worcester. All of yesterday, it stays that way today. 9 degrees at best. Mostly it's rain showers, maybe a shot of hail mixed in there. 9 for a maximum in the village, staying cold enough for snow to be accumulating at the Alpine elevations again. And for the Fraser Valley, it's mostly wet right now, but some of the showers backing off this afternoon and then returning later in the day. So ultimately, your afternoon finishes up wet. 13 in the Fraser Valley. Look at those autumn temperatures. Where did those come from? It's going to be cold in Metro Vancouver as well. Raining tonight, raining tomorrow morning. That should do it. So Wednesday afternoon dries up. Mostly cloudy, 13 degrees. There's your sunny one. Thursday, 17. Actually, Friday's okay. Starting out sunny, clouding over during the day. It's dry until Friday evening. And there's the first half of your weekend, which does look on the wet side. We're trending back towards sunnier conditions again in that long range. And that's for Sunday and Monday. Riaz, how are you this morning, my friend?